और फिलहाल आरबीआई गवर्नर उर्जित पटेल की तरफ से प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की जा रही है सुनते हैं सेक्रेटरी एंड इफ यू The government has observed misuse of genuine high denomination notes for terror financing and also for holding black money. The RBI has been concerned about the growing menace of the fake Indian currency notes which has been increasing in numbers. Notably in recent years foreign fake Indian currency notes in high denominations either 500 and 1000 has been increasing however i can assure you there has been no breach of any of the security features but for ordinary and common public the looks of an fake indian currency note is similar to genuine notes which makes it difficult for them to distinguish the fake from the genuine <laughs> thus there is a congruence of thought between rbi and government there are multiple objectives that can be achieved with the replacement of the old high denomination notes with a new series this led us to take the decision i the central board of the rbi to withdraw the legal tender character of 500 rupees and 1000 rupee denomination bank notes The opportune moment for withdrawal of old series is when we are ready with new series banknotes for effective replacement. Further, to replace the already existing large number of banknotes, we should be ready with adequate numbers of the new series note. As of today and over the past weeks and months, we have ramped up our production and are ready to meet such a requirement in the weeks and days to come. Hence it was decided to introduce the scheme that the prime minister announced. I will now request uh, Mr. Shakti Kandas to say a few words. Thank you. Please, please, please. I will answer that question. Let me please finish. Uh, good evening, uh, friends. I am sure you would have heard the Honorable Prime Minister's address to the nation on the All India Radio and also in various uh, TV channels and uh, Doordarshan. the decision of the government to cancel the legal tender status of 500 rupee notes and 1000 rupee notes is a very bold and powerful and a very decisive step to fight the menace of black money and the use of fake indian currency notes counterfeit indian currency notes for uh, financing of terrorism there have been reports which various investigative and other law enforcement agencies have been getting that all these uh, counterfeit currencies are being used for financing terrorism they look similar to the indian uh, you know the legal currency notes so far as the governor has mentioned our security features have not been breached but since the notes counterfeit notes look similar to the normal legal notes naturally any member of the public is likely to be misled so this is a very powerful measure which the government has taken and as you know the government has taken a series of measures against the black money problem of black money over the last 2 years and this is one more effective and decisive measure which is uh, which will go a long way in that direction the fake indian currency notes and the use of black money also they fuel inflation and they corrode the very basis of our economy and eat into the vitals of our economy there are statistics which show that the circulation of the high denomination currency notes have also expanded significantly over the last 5 years or so in fact between 2011 to 2016 the circulation of all currency notes from you know lower denominations to the highest denomination they have grown by about uh, 40% between 2011 and 2016 but the circulation of 500 uh, rupee currency notes have increased by 76% and 1000 rupee currency notes have increased by 109% but during this period that is during this period 2011 to 2016 the economy has expanded the size of the economy has expanded by 30% 
So obviously there is disproportionately high usage of high currency, high denomination currency notes. Reports were also received about use of this money for storing unaccounted wealth. So that problem also had to be tackled. There are several operational guidelines. We will be issuing a press note, detailed press note, which will contain the various operational guidelines. But our colleague, uh, Mr. Gandhi, Deputy Governor, perhaps may like to mention some of the operational guidelines. And let me take this opportunity also to mention that uh, uh, the exchange, you know, with this, the government also tonight, along with this notification, which was announced by the Prime, Honorable Prime Minister, uh, we are also launching, the RBI will releasing new currency notes with new features, new designs, and new dimensions from the uh, 10th of November onwards. Tomorrow is a bank holiday. The treasuries also will remain closed. So the new notes will be released, will be introduced to the market, will be infused to the market from 10th November onwards. Now, I would just like to show the design for the benefit of all our uh, you know, the friends and the, those who have the cameras. This is the design of the 500 rupee, new 500 rupee note. And this has uh, the Red Fort, which is a heritage monument. I mean, Red, Red Fort is there. And this new series will be known as the Mahatma Gandhi new series of bank notes. Then apart from that, we are also introducing a 2000 rupee note, which carries a photo of Mangalyan. So this highlights the scientific development and the research progress that India has achieved. These denominations size will be a little smaller than the existing notes and uh, they will be released uh, to the market. And uh, we are setting up uh, control rooms in the Reserve Bank of India and uh, in the Department of Economic Affairs of the Finance Ministry. The control room of the Reserve Bank of India so far as the public is concerned, it will be set up in Mumbai, so it will be 022, and the numbers are 2260, 2201, I repeat, 022, 2260, 2201, and one more number, again Mumbai number, 2260, 2944. The control room in the Ministry of Finance will be operational from tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., for the first 15 days, it will operate uh, 24 hours, and uh, the number is 011-2309-3230. 2309-3230, this is the Delhi number, and we will be operating a control room. And uh, we have also sensitized the various uh, state governments, the state uh, chief secretaries, the director generals of police, the other central authorities to uh, take all uh, necessary measures for uh, smooth implementation of uh, this uh, uh, changeover. And uh, uh, may I also mention that uh, the one appeal I would like to make uh, to the citizens of country, to the members of the public, it is possible that there are people who are holding a lot of unaccounted cash. My appeal to the members of the public is not to let yourself to be used by anyone for exchange of such notes in the banks because the banks will keep record of identity of whoever goes to the bank counter. The banks have also installed uh, video cameras in their uh, premises which will be recording the various people, you know, the, which will be sort of recording the whole proceedings of the banking transactions. So our appeal to ordinary citizens is kindly, please do not ourselves, uh, allow yourself to be used by anybody else for exchanging their illegal cash. But yes, if you are carrying legal cash for your friend or your relative or for somebody, I mean, you are uh, most, you are free to do that. So I'll stop here and uh, leave it to Mr. Norona to take it forward.